Let's go over some rotational motion physics problems. I'll start out by going over a term, an explanation of each term, with an example problem at the end. The first term is angular velocity. Angular velocity is how many radians or degrees in a second the ball is moving. If the ball were to complete one circumference of a circle in 6.28 or 2 pi seconds, the ball would have an angular velocity of 1 radian a second. The way we calculate how many radians a second the ball is moving is by taking the number of radians and dividing by time. The next term we will be discussing is angular displacement. This is the angular difference between two points along the circular path. For example, if a ball is going around a circle at one radian a second, after two seconds the angular displacement from initial position will be two radians. The ball has moved two radians from initial position. On to our third topic, tangential speed. Tangential speed is the speed of the ball if it were allowed to move freely. Tangential speed can be calculated by taking the angular velocity in radians a second and multiplying by the radius of the circular path. So once again, if the ball was moving around the path at one radian a second and the circular path has a radius of 0.5 meters, the tangential speed is 0.5 meters a second. Now recall from geometry that a radian is an angular measure of one radius along the circumference of a circle. So now what we did there was multiply by the radius to get the units of meters a second. It's important to note that if you were to release an object from rotational motion, the object will go tangential to the circumference of the circle. When the ball rotates around a circular path, the direction is constantly changing. Being the ball is constantly changing direction, there is an acceleration felt by the ball. The acceleration that is felt is known as centripetal acceleration. Centripetal acceleration can be found by squaring the velocity and dividing by the radius, or by taking the radius and multiplying by the angular velocity squared. Looking at the second equation, we can see that angular velocity equals tangential speed over the radius. Once we substitute tangential speed over the radius into equation 2, we can see that equation 1 equals equation 2. To further cement the centripetal acceleration equation in our minds, let's do unit analysis to find the first equation. The units for acceleration are meters per second per second, the units for tangential speed or velocity are meters a second, and the units for radius are in meters. So if we are to square the velocity and divide by the radius, we will end up with our desired units of meters per second per second. And finally our last term, which is angular acceleration. Angular acceleration is the rate of change of rotational speed in radians per second per second. If a ball were to have an angular acceleration, this would mean that as time passes, the number of rotations per unit of time is increasing or decreasing. If a ball were to have an initial angular velocity of zero radians a second, and three seconds later have an angular velocity of three radians a second, the angular acceleration would be one radian a second. The equation for finding angular acceleration is final angular velocity minus initial angular velocity over the time pass between initial and final angular velocity. And that concludes this video. Thank you for watching.